Tonight, we're gonna figure out if a nice bandsaw really makes that much of a difference over a cheap one. If you've been wanting to upgrade your bandsaw for a while, but you aren't really sure if it's gonna make that much of a difference, or if there's gonna be any real benefit, this is the video for you. I've been using this bandsaw in my shop for about four or five years now. Now, it's an off-brand tool company that's now out of business, but the best part about this bandsaw is that I got it from a friend for free. When I got it, it needed a lot of work, but I got it all tuned up and ready to go. It has served me well for the last five years, but I decided it's finally time for an upgrade. After lots of research into different bandsaws, I decided to go with the Laguna 14BX. Now, full disclosure, Laguna also reached out to me to see if I wanted to try out one of their tools. And I said, hey, I'm in the market for a bandsaw. I did get a significant discount on the saw. However, they did agree that I could tell the good and the bad. So we're gonna run these two saws with a bunch of different types of cuts, different materials, and we're gonna compare them side by side and see how it turns out. To try to balance out the results here, I have a quarter inch Olsen blade on each bandsaw. The first cut I'm gonna do on each bandsaw is a straight cut with a fence and without a fence. I'm doing these first few cuts in hardwood and softwood to provide an even comparison. Now I'm gonna do a curved cut on each one. Now we're gonna do some resawing and milling. On my old bandsaw I have my half inch blade that I normally use for resawing. And on the Laguna, I have the Resaw King, which is the one that's commonly touted as a good blade for resawing. Hopefully you can see this here, but there's a slight difference in the quality of the cut. Now these three examples here are the straight cut, cut freehand, the straight cut, cut with a fence, and a curved cut. The cut quality is a little bit better on the Laguna, but not significantly. Now moving on to the softwood. This is just a 2x6 that I did the same cuts on. First a freehand straight cut, then a straight cut with a fence, and then the curved cut. Again, on these ones, the Laguna gives a slightly better quality, but it's kind of hard to tell. Now past that, we move on to the pieces that were resawn. On these ones, you can really see a difference between the two. There's a cut quality difference for sure. Some of that may be attributed to the blade quality difference, but the tension on the blade has a lot to do with the quality of the cut. Because of the design of the Laguna with one consistent structural beam the entire length of one side, it makes it so that you can put a lot more tension on this and you don't have to worry about the bandsaw flexing as it tightens. Next, let's move on to the milling. Now this is very similar to what we were doing with resawing, but it's a little bit thicker, it's a different type of wood. Again on this one, the difference between the cut quality of the two different saws is very noticeable. If you simply compare the cut quality test, I would say that the Laguna stands out more in the resawing and milling category just because of the design of the bandsaw. I also noticed that it tracks easier. Apart from cut quality, there's other factors when trying to decide whether to upgrade a bandsaw. One that I didn't think would matter that much, but it actually does, is the height of the table. On my old bandsaw, the height was 43 inches. This can be good if you're trying to get closer to the wood, but if you're trying to cut something large, you've lost a lot of your height. 
The Laguna has a table height at 38 inches, which is the same as all of my workbenches and other things that I've built in my shop. So that gets me a much more consistent height across the board. Another important difference on these two bandsaws is the cut height. On my old one, the maximum height I could resaw was six and a half inches. That makes things pretty limited. On the Laguna, I think I could squeeze out 13 and a quarter inches. This is awesome if you're trying to make book match panels or if you're just trying to be more efficient with your lumber usage. There's also a noticeable difference in power. My old bandsaw was 110 volts. The new one is 230 volts. I noticed the difference on this when I was resawing. When I was resawing this board, which is five inches tall, the speed I was going at was noticeably slower than when I was resawing this board, which is seven and a half inches tall on the Laguna. To me, that difference in voltage and horsepower confirms what I had thought before about the resaw abilities on the Laguna. It's just set up better for that. Another thing I was looking forward to on a new bandsaw was dust collection. That is something that I did not have on my old bandsaw. As you can see, there are cracks everywhere, there's openings, it's designed for the dust to just fall right out. So when I'm done cutting anything on the bandsaw, I get this nice dusting of sawdust snow all over the bandsaw. The Laguna, on the other hand, has two dust ports, one that's right up close to the blade and one that's down at the bottom. These are both four inch dust ports, so you have to have a splitter coming from your main line. I tested the dust collection with some milling and it does a pretty good job. Of course, my comparison is no dust collection, so maybe I'm biased. The other nice thing about this bandsaw that I didn't have on my old one was the ability to make repeated cuts. I guess I could have retrofit my old bandsaw and put a fence on it with a rail, but the Laguna has this built in as part of the saw. I can go back to the one inch mark if I want to cut the same size every time. Another thing about the Laguna that I really like is the brake pedal. Now with my old bandsaw, when I turned it off, it was small enough and the wheels were heavy enough that it slowed down pretty quickly. On the Laguna, everything is very well balanced, which means it can continue to spin for a little while. So the brake is awesome because you're not stopping the blade, you're actually stopping a disc brake on the wheel. Another thing I also really like about this saw is that I have a quick release for the tension on the saw. That's one thing that I always forgot on my old one is to release the tension. But this makes it much easier. Handle up to tighten it and down to loosen it. Now the thing on the Laguna that seems to cause a lot of controversy are the ceramic guides on it. People have very strong opinions one way or another. They either love them or they hate them. There's no in between. If you have a Laguna, let me know what your strong opinion is down in the comments. So far, I've done a little bit of cutting, I've done some testing on it, but I don't have enough time using it to have a strong opinion yet. I'm sure it's coming. So far, they're great. They don't seem to be very difficult. Now for some of the things that I'm not too pleased with about the Laguna Bandsaw. The first thing is the manual. This thing is not very helpful at all, especially if you're trying to put together the mobile base on it, or if you're trying to install things on the top. It is severely lacking, and I think the people at Laguna should take a lesson from the manuals that you get from SawStop. Those are very in-depth, very detailed, and explain how to install and how to calibrate everything. And those ones are in color, too. I did find it very humorous, though, that this manual dedicates three pages to showing you three different methods for folding a bandsaw blade. Now, maybe a lot of people have trouble with that, or they get a lot of feedback saying, how do I coil my bandsaw blade? But it seems a little excessive. The most useful thing in the manual is the exploded views in the back. This shows you exactly where every screw and every fastener and washer go. This came in super handy when I was assembling the mobile base and when I was assembling the light. This is the first tool I've gotten from Laguna, but there were a couple things that surprised me about it. First thing is that I got two screws in the mobile base that actually had some corrosion on them. I'm assuming this is because the base may have been stored a long time, but it was surprising. And also surprising was the response of the customer service. They told me those bolts were not in stock and wouldn't be for a little while, and it would be faster for me to just go out to my local hardware store and buy some. There were also some other missing washers and fasteners that they told me also to just go get them from the hardware store. I have no problem getting fasteners and washers and things like that. But I was a little surprised that the customer service people told me to just go to the hardware store and get the stuff that I needed instead of sending it to me. Now the customer service team was very responsive. They did give me answers to my questions and they got back to me very quickly. I'm assuming though that if it had been a major component with an issue, like rust across the top surface, then I would have been able to get that replaced. I'm also going to give you a caution if you decide to buy this light. The location of this on this bandsaw makes it so that the light is right about here and that's dangerous when you're at my height or if you're taller than me because I have already hit this light 
many times with my head. I need to figure out a good way to get it up and out of the way, but it's pretty solid, so it hurts. The mobile base is fine. It's not anything special, it's not anything fancy. It has one caster at one side and two wheels on the other. So it doesn't have the full four casters, which would be nice, but it does the job. Just depends on how much you need to move it. Overall, I'm very happy with the Laguna 14BX. It's a high quality saw, it gives good results. There are a few quirks about it that I can get used to, but it's a huge upgrade in my shop and definitely one that I'm gonna be using a lot. I'm very careful about what tools and products I recommend because you're my audience and I value your time. I'm not gonna recommend that you buy something that doesn't work. I actually decided that I was gonna buy this saw at full price before I talked to Laguna. I really wanna thank Laguna for reaching out and giving me the opportunity to test this saw out. I have a link to the saw down in the description and I also have down there links to my website where you can get plans. I have merch. I have lots of other things that you can take a look at. Now, go build something and we'll see you next time.